the caddy But when I do I don't follow through Cause my heart belongs to daddy If I invite a boy some night To dine on my fine fin and hattie Hello! It's been several weeks since the Pot TV studios have been down because of the fire next door and we are back with a fantastic and fabulous show for you today. My dear friend Watermelon is joining us today and we're going to have a little uh, heads up what's been going on from the captain of the ship, Mark Emery. So we're stoked to be back and we're going to start off with a fine and fabulous tune from B-Funk and her superstar. Take it away, B. Watermelon, I haven't seen you forever, and it's fabulous to have you here. Oh, yeah. So let's go back, do a little history here. Okay. Tell us about the tragic day at Wreck Beach when uh, the Gestapo came for you, because I know it's quite, yeah. it's quite the tale. The Wreck Beach Taliban came for uh, you. Uh, yeah. Let's exactly. hear about it. Uh, well, you know, I was arrested uh, three more times last summer, so I have four charges. Yeah. All for um, trafficking marijuana cookies, ginger, ginger, uh, ginger snap cookies. Allegedly trafficking ginger snap cookies. Yeah, um, although I have some for breach and stuff now, too. But the first arrest is the funnest. So <laughs> some of these folks may not even know about the first arrest. So let's tell us a little bit about what... About, about your career on Wreck Beach. Uh, yeah, sure. I have, a, I have the top ten best jobs in the whole planet, actually. I decided, like, somewhere up in the ten category yeah. of best jobs in the world, uh, you know, on Wreck Beach. And then uh, one day, these two undercover officers... Wreck Beach is a nude beach. Wreck Beach is clothing of optional, that, actually. Clothing optional. Clothing optional. It's a politically correct way of describing the nude beach. Yeah, but it really is clothing optional, too, as well. I guess it's legitimately classified as clothing optional yep. beach or whatever, so... And not everybody's nude. Yeah. So, um, you know, some people wear a lot of jewelry. <laughs> but, uh, and fanny packs. And fanny packs, right. exactly. exactly. So you've been down there for years selling Ten. your fabulous cookies. Ten, Ten. years. Yeah, long time. You're, you're one of the, the Wreck Beach legends. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you know, I was like ambassador, I think, to the beach. I was like the liaison or whatever. And never any legal issues with your cookies in those 10 years? You know, there wasn't, there wasn't any. I think 
I think what happened, well, I really think the cop who first arrested me just had a crush on me. I really believe that. I think he couldn't fuck I, me in the I, bedroom, I, I so he got it. to fuck me I in the courtroom. And uh, the same asshole winked at me in court. He got off, like, the witness stand on my court and case. And winked at you? Yeah, thinking nobody saw, but somebody did see. Because he winked at me, at, like, as he walked by so my lawyer wouldn't see him. He's like, this is crazy fucking guy. Anyways. So we got you in handcuffs one way or another, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Naked in handcuffs, nonetheless. Yeah, did, yeah. Did they, did they cuff you when, when you were well, in your birthday th suit? The thing is, is uh, he didn't want to. What happened was he arrested me, and uh, he was he, but he arrested me the very far side of the beach, so yeah. we had to almost, if you would, parade yeah. along the beach, and a crowd kept gathering until there was, you know, probably 200 irate nude people, you know, with... The free water. Yeah, man. like what are you doing? You know what I mean. Cops are supposed to remove undesirables from communities. Yeah. You know, and I think they came down, and the community's like, wait a second, you got the wrong person. So he was petrified, and then he didn't want to put me in handcuffs. But I'd never been arrested before, so I was like, well, duh, I've never been arrested before. I want the fucking handcuffs. <laughs> Hello, right? You know what I'm saying? Hello. I want the full meal deal. This like, is yeah, no half exactly. order. If we're exactly. doing it, let's do it all the way. Exactly. I couldn't decide what not to wear for this, and now you're not going <laughs> to handcuff me. Fuck that. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so, so that was, so I demanded to be handcuffed. And, and so he obliged, of course. He did, but he whispered in my ear on the way up the trail ever so gently that, uh, I will remove the handcuffs whenever you want, he said to me. He's like, if you get uncomfortable, let me know. So, yeah. So that was the first arrest. That was the first arrest. And have you, and you've been to court for that one? Uh, I have, but it hasn't been resolved yet. Actually, yep. I go back again uh, next month. So you persisted in distributing your marijuana-infused ginger snap cookies on Wreck Beach after your first arrest? Well, you're it, such a rebel, watermelon. I, yeah. Well, you know, you know, I was doing, uh, you know, doing good deeds. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere I go, yep. I'm a baker. I'm not a criminal. Fuck those guys, man. So your first arrest. So your four arrests were all in the same summer. This is all no, last year? I was arrested once September 2001, and last summer uh, I was arrested again. I, I was on my way home, and they stopped me, looked at my bag, saw cookies, and arrested me because, you know, they, it's how hard the police work these days. They really put a lot of effort into, uh, you know, snapping up the cookie lady in her pink van on her way home. You'd be like, ooh, you got me, boys. Uh, and then what they do is they put you in jail. This is a great technique they have. They put you in jail, and they say, okay, you get to vol I want you to voluntarily sign this uh, thing, this recognizance thing saying you won't go back to Wreck Beach. Otherwise, we're keeping you here. Or, yeah, you get to rot in jail. So, voluntarily sign. Yeah. Or, stay, and, you know, I'm not a very good volunteer, but I had to volunteer because I'm, I have claustrophobia, like jail, like drove me, like I lost my mind. They you design know? it like that. Did you get pink walls? I didn't get pink oh, walls. Oh, the pink walls are bad. I have pink van, but I don't have I no don't pink, pink walls in jail. Listen, I literally like, I almost scratched my eyeballs out in jail. It was my own insane asylum. How long did they keep you well, there Well, last for? summer they made me sleep overnight in Richmond. Aww. Yeah, they thought, it was, they thought it was funny. I guess. I don't know. I lost my mind, Hillary. It is not a place. It's not a place for ladies like you and I to be. No. no. Even law-breaking ladies like you and I. Well, you know. So Avant-garde. I believe I'm avant-garde. I think there's a really fine line between artist and Art and crime, you know what I mean? I'm you more got, of an avant-garde artist you gotta push than a criminal. You've got to push you the edges, I mean? right? The edges yeah. constantly need to be pushed by somebody. And who better than us? Yeah. Okay, so there's no wreck beach for you? Is that no the deal now? No wreck beach for me. How are you surviving? The well, season has opened. I am helping to organize the World Naked Bike Ride. Excellent. Uh, they're like, why, why haven't you never worked with us in the past? These people, they do these like other altruistic yep. sort of uh, things. And I'm like, I've been, in, I've been doing my own protest every day of the summer at Wreck Beach. You know, like, I'm not going anywhere. But now that I can't go to Wreck Beach, I'm helping to organize that. June 12th. June 12th in Vancouver. In Vancouver, 3.30. Where do we start? Butte at the Sunset Beach at Butte and Beach. Yep. Butte and Beach, bear you dare, come out, protest all dependencies, rejoice in your nude body. And there's a huge crew of people that go out for that. Yeah, it's put on by the same people of the uh, Critical Mass yeah. Party, the Work Less Party, and the same guys who did Artists for Peace, or Artists Against War, I think. No, it was huh. an Artists Against Peace, I can't remember. Well, no, there's some we should go and get some footage for, for, you know, all of those that aren't fortunate enough to be in Vancouver, they can come and see oh, the no, Naked Bike the Ride for world, themselves. World Naked Bike Ride, oh, World Naked Bike Ride, it's happening it's in about uh, sister cities. London, Seattle, San Francisco, Asheville, Toronto, Montreal, Austin, Chicago, the Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, and many, many more. And if there's not one in your city, you can organize one starting today.